please like, share, and subscribe. So yesterday, I finally got to see Furiosa a Mad Max Saga. Before I get into what I think of the movie, I would just like to say hello all of my YouTube friends, and welcome to another Jeeps Media video. Disappointed that we are not getting a proper Mad Max movie, and instead we are getting spin-offs. Now the good in this movie is that Furiosa, the young Furiosa, has a lot of backstory, character development. There's an interesting story. She has quite a couple of lines. You see the emotion. You really want to root for this person. Then when we jump to an older version played by Anya Taylor's Joy, I've already mentioned this about her character, her actress. She is, she communicates a lot with her eyes. It's just unfortunate that we did not give her enough lines in this movie to show how good of an actress she is. In fact, we even go as far as to cover half of her face, revealing only the eyes for a good portion of the movie, especially towards the end. It, I'm sorry to say I would have liked a lot more character development from an older Furiosa. The a lot of expression, facial expressions, I just wish she had a lot of good lines. Whereas the baddies in here, played by Chris Hemsworth, has a lot more lines, which is interesting. I'm always happy to see that a villain has so many lines. It comes across, though, as one-liners. Too many of them. He is frustrated for I don't know what reason. We kind of get to have a glimpse at the end of why he's such a frustrated person. It's just that I would have liked to see some more baddie character development of his part, but he has quite a couple of lines in this movie. Now, the thing that I don't like about this movie is the CGI and the action sequences. Video games, anime have so much better action sequences than this movie. It literally comes across as a Benny Hill show. Don't know what I'm talking about. Google it up. It's just over the top continuously. It actually takes me out of the movie, the immersion, the escapism. It's just so unbelievable. So much CGI with the backdrops. It's just not good. I know they're going for a kind of a style here. It just does not work for me. The other thing that doesn't work for me is the continuously overusage of a tanker. Tanker, truck tanker, whatever you want to call it. In the original three movies, there was only one movie revolving around a tanker. Now we've had two Mad Max movies. The first one was not a good. I would like a really proper Mad Max movie before concentrating on spin-offs. The two remakes revolve around a tanker and it's overdone. I am through with it. I am done with this. Please find something else to talk about or use to express a movie. Overall, an okay movie. I give it a 4, 5 out of 10. Not much more than that. But that is just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments down below. If you liked the video, please smash the like button. Subscribe. If you didn't like it, thank you so much for listening this long. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, check these out.